Hello, this is Liz. Welcome to my little urban homestead and Perfect Friday. Last week we went through the making of the interior, which is a lot more complicated than the exterior. I have now, as I told you, I've got piecemeal. I pieced the top and the back. So I've sewn them together. So your piece of material fabric would look like this shape, which is the same as the back lining. So what we need to do now is add the gusset to it. And because I intend on um, binding this, I don't have to worry about other things because this is how it's going to go. It's going to go like that. So that will be my bag which will match my purse. So the first thing we really need to do I suppose is take the liner out because we don't need that. It's attaching this gusset. Now we put two on the liner so it was either side of the middle zipper pocket and we did them at one and a quarter. Works out nearly two inches. Should have been one and a half but never mind. One and a quarter will be perfectly fine. This strip is two inches wide. Yes, actually, one and a quarter is right. And um, we basically need to attach it all the way around. But as I said, I am binding this. So this is what I did wrong on the liner. Um, I put them wrong sides together but the liner needs to be right sides together the outer doesn't so basically just run a stitch all the way along exactly the same as you did for that and I'll show you when that's done so here I have sewn wrong sides together all the way around it. Now before we attach this to the back, we can stitch on the strap holders or a strap if you wanted to do that. I have no more of this white vinyl left, I think. Um, so I will actually use a strap that's on my other bag, which is brown. So I'll just unhook that and hook the hoot on here. To make these strap holders or the strap itself with this final because it does not fray on a two inch strip, strip, fold it in half, open out, take one edge to the middle line that you just pressed in, the other to the middle line you just pressed in and butt them up against one another. Normally, you, with normal fabric, you would fold them over again. But because this doesn't fray, I can leave it like this. That's why it's so good for bags. <laughs> but here we are. So this piece is two inches by about three inches and that's two of them and I'm going to take them and sew them either side of the opening. So I've sewn either side of the where it was folded, slid it through with the wrong side on the inside and put it down slightly so it's not exactly level 
slightly there. And what we do now, put it on. Oh, we'll put it on there. It's the D ring itself is about an inch away from the top, and that will allow me a lot of space to actually move it so I can bind it. So it's going to go on there. So that's what I'm going to do now on both sides. I put both sides on and just measured them against the first one to see it's roughly in the same place. And I've reinforced the stitching, and that's how they'll be for me. And now I'm just going to sew this on this gusset onto the back, same as I did to the front. See, it's really starting to come together now. We've got the back and the front together. I've just slipped the liner in. So you can see that we've got the pocket there and we've got the back and the front. Really pleased with this. Now what we've got to do, I when I sewed the gusset to the back I left about half an inch or so I could trim it down if necessary or um, to move it away from this seam I've got to reduce bulk um, or to help me when I put binding on but it seems like we're there so what I'm going to do now I think is figure out and fix the top to it. I'm not going to fold it in because I'm binding it. But then again, this doesn't fray. So I might just do that all the way around so that I'll finish it. Now I'm going to bind it. I want to bind it. So I'm going to trim this liner down because it's a little bit bigger so I'm just going to take half an inch off the line and we will still have a recessed zip part but I'll take half an inch off the line and I'm not going to sew it in because I need to put on the the studs, the closures. So I'll figure out where I want the closures and I'm using magnetic clips and I'll show you when I'm putting them on. Right, I have put a magnetic clasp on the front of the bag and this one will go on the top and close it. I have also put some feet on the bottom of it, metal feet. Mm, I think they're going to be more aesthetics than anything else because I'm binding this, trimming it down and binding it. But I've also clipped the lining to it. Now I didn't trim it down and it's actually very good for it. See, there's a separate pocket. So, yeah, what it needs now is to actually, I'm going to base stitch all the lining in place where I've got the clips you'll see I'm going to baste it and then it's just a matter of binding it I've cut a one and a quarter inch piece of binding and I'm now going to bind the front bit 
of it. Just trying to work out which would be the best way. So you want to keep everything out of the way because you don't want to accidentally stitch anything down. So that's where it's going to go. So let's just now fit it where I want it. It's a little bit of a jiggery pokery. But it's doable. Keep if you've seen your strap D-rings on. Sorry about that. Keep them out of the way. Stop it done. Until we get round the other side. But same as we did when we went round the corners before, start slow it in. Now I've put some feet on the bottom of this, so I'm going to have to make sure. My needle doesn't touch them. So out of the way they go. It's very, very close. And my thread's all tied up. Let's get this sorted and I'll show you when I've got round it. I've started clipping this bit down, but now you just take the edge to your edge, <laughs> fold it over so all the raw ends are inside. Clip it and then top stitch it down. Now takes a bit of time working it out because moving things out of the way but I'll show you when it's done I've top stitched all the binding down now so it's there so now I'm going to bind across this outer edge exactly the same as before pin it to it the inside and then I'll take it over to the front. Doing this binding is the fiddliest bit on this bag. Make sure you've got anything out of the way that should be out of the way. And as before, a couple of stitches at a time move things around and then a couple more stitches because you've uh, basted this down as well you can see where your stitches are so you can follow those stitches so for the line that is a little bit bigger 
from the outer or the outer is a bit bigger than the inner you just follow your basting line stitches So you probably won't see anything in this now. Because this is what you have to do to manoeuvre it around to set it in. And then what we do is fold in half and then sew it down. I should have thought of this before. Take me table off so I've got the free arm there. It makes it a little easier. So let's now put it where it needs to go. Just making sure everything's straight inside. So that's the front binding. Now all we've got to do is bind around the back. I've shown you the most difficult bits. I'll now do this bit on my own. So there is my bag. I've stitched, I've stitched the binding all round and as per normal threads everywhere. I have put a strap on it as well, so I've just threaded that through and then stitch it down. I think I'll just trim that one, so trim the other, so there, trimmed. But I did make a mistake, I have the magnetic clip on it. But I put it through on the front side so it's there. So what I've done, I've embroidered my initial. I'm going to cut that out and then just top stitch it down because this does not fray at all. Hey, okay, well, it's a little bit on the wonky side, but at the moment I've just had enough. Um, so. I'm not very good at finishing things off, but that uh, is now done. But if you haven't got an embroidery machine, you can't put your initial on it or anything. If you're using this vinyl, it doesn't fray. You can just put a piece on there. If you've got some um, paint or anything like that, you can write your initial on. It just 
covers it a bit I'll just trim around the edge to make it more central. So, bye!